Hello everyone and welcome back. Dom here and I heard that some people are scared of FM synthesis. On this video, I'm going to make FM synthesis simple for you and I'm going to show you how you can create a warm, lush, really beautiful pad using just the FMX engine on the Yamaha Montage and the Modi X. Intro. So to begin with, like with all my sound design synthesis tutorials, I want you guys to understand the philosophy behind all these things that I'm doing. There's no point trying to copy all the settings. You can if you want to create exactly the same sound that I'm going to create here today. But today I'm going to go by instinct, I'm going to go by ear, I'm going to show you all the techniques that I'm using to create these sounds. But you can apply those techniques to your own personal sounds, right? So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to category search, hit initial and initial normal FMX, okay? I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible because honestly, it's not hard at all. I'm going to click on this part and go edit. Most of the times, as you know, I tend to remove the reverb when I'm designing a sound. In this case, it doesn't really bother me because we're going to create a pad, right? So let's First, choose our algorithm because that's going to play a very important part of the sound. So we're going to go to algorithm. And what I want in this case is I want to have stacked operators, right? So maybe three in series. And so one uh, carrier and two modulators so that I have a little bit of flexibility while I'm designing my pad because I'm going to aim for this kind of warm, so toothy, almost analog kind of pad sound. Now, if you want to select an operator, you can go to algorithm search. So in this case, I want three stacked and maybe three carriers. Let's see, maybe I want to select this one. Okay, it's a very easy way of finding your algorithms. So this is algorithm 81 and let's get started right now before we get started if you enjoy this kind of videos please hit the thumbs up button down there and if you haven't subscribed already you know maybe it's time to subscribe because i'm doing this kind of videos all the time so operator 8 the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull down all my operator levels okay so we should be getting no sound now Perfect. I'm going to start working, let's say, on operator number eight, because that's my carrier, right? And my other carrier is five, and my other carrier is two. Everything else doesn't work because they're not carriers, they're modulators, right? So we're, we're not going to hear any sound if we try and change these operators. So let's start with operator number eight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this operator for the bulk of the time so that I get all the settings right. Okay, but it's very, very easy. Just let me show you. The first thing I want to do is I want to create my envelope. With FM synthesis, envelopes are the kings, right? Levels for your operators and your modulators, all these things, are really, really important because they shape the sound. We are not using filters in this case. so. Well, well, with the montage, you can also use filters and we are going to use some filters, but I'm going to create the envelope of the sound first. So we're going to create a pad. What do I need? I need a long attack. And of course, we can modify this in real time using the controllers here. So it's fine. We don't need to commit to something and then release. So I really want a long release. 55, 55, that sounds good. Very, very nice. Now, one thing that I wanna do as well is make sure that I have my level to velocity set to two, three or something like this, because I want to make this sound dynamic straight away. I don't want to wait until later. Now is the time, okay? So level, to velocity plus two. That means that when I play soft on the keyboard, we get a nice dynamic sound. Perfect. Here's the interesting bit. Let's go to our operator number 
seven. Here's how we're going to get this kind of so toothy kind of sound. I'm going to turn it up in terms of level and you'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, very, very typical FM sound. But now we're going to do something cool. Let's go to our frequency. And I'm going to change the spectral wave. I'm going to turn this into an all wave and I'm going to turn up the skirt. Okay, let's try without the skirt first. And now let's turn up the skirt. Now, I don't want to make this too bright, so I'm going to keep it at five, but check it out. Now, when I turn up my level, this is what happens. You can kind of emulate the sound of the analog filter opening, right? So. Now, if I wanted to do this, would be very easy. I would just have to go to my level and open the attack. Okay, so... Slower. Okay, but I'm not going to do this in this case. I'm going to get to the sound that I want. And I want to make sure that the release is also right. Because otherwise, check what happens. If you don't take care of the release, the attack doesn't matter because this will not play on its own unless this one plays. But this will play on its own, which means if I don't take care of the release, check what happens. See the thing in the end? You don't want that. Maybe you want it or maybe you want it to be slower. So I'm going to turn the release up to 55, okay? If we open the attack a little bit, Maybe something like that is fine. Again, I'm going to make this dynamic. Let's go to level to velocity plus two. And now let's see. You know what, I'm gonna go zero. I just want this kind of so toothy sound straight away. Okay, beautiful. We already have this kind of you know, so toothy sound. Now, what are we going to do with operator six? Okay, let's try this. I'm going to turn this up to 55 as well, you know, when it comes to release. And now let's turn it up. Now, what I'm going to use this operator for is so that we can get a little bit of movement because now it's quite static. Okay. But check what happens if I go to operator six, pull it up. And then change the detune. Okay, let's try this. this sound a little bit of movement, right? So, I'm very happy with this. And now we have the core of our sound, okay? Okay, and we have a little bit of movement already. Now, bear in mind, this sound is still very mono. We're going to make it super wide in a moment, right? From here on, things are super simple. All you need to do is duplicate these settings to the next block of operators. So five, four, and three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to operator eight, okay? And shift edit. And now I can copy these operator settings to my other carrier, which is five, okay? Let's go to operator five, copy. Done. Okay, let's go to operator seven 
And now, where are we going to go? To my first modulator on the next block, which is four. Copy and paste. And now let's go to six. And you've guessed it, we're going to go to operator three. And now we've copied this setting. So now we have basically double the volume because it's like one, so five, eight, okay? But now what we can do is we can detune those operators, right? So I'm going to go to eight and actually I'm going to go to five and detune it to minus eight. Let's try that. And then I'm going to do the same to the other operators of the block. So minus five, like that maybe. And here you can play by ear how much detune you want your sound to be. Let's try a little bit more extreme settings. Let's go minus 13. And see how nice and modulated this sound is. Right. Perfect. We're going to make this super wide. Stay with me. Okay. I'm going to turn down eight and five. No sound. Now we're going to take care of our last block, which is two and one. Okay. So there we go. So operator number two. Let's go to this one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy the level settings. So let's go 55, something like that, and release again 55. And in this case, I'm going to go and change this to all and go skirt number seven. Let's see. Another sawtooth wave, basically. And now let's bring up operator number one. And for this one, I want to use it pretty much as an LFO. So let me go to operator number one, okay? Let me go and turn this into velocity sensitive. And now for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my frequency. And now I'm going to modulate operator number two with this number one, okay? But I'm going to use a very, very slow speed because right now it's in the audible range. But if we go fixed, then we can decide the frequency. So we go coarse, let's say maybe around, let's try this one. See that? So as you can see, And now check it out. This is really, really cool. What I can do is I can say, okay, maybe I don't want this to happen all the time, okay? Maybe I want this to happen when I activate my aftertouch or maybe a controller. So it's very easy. I can go here to my level, okay? Go to zero and then click on the level, control sign, and then I'm going to assign it to aftertouch. So all I need to do on the montage is just hit the key right there and I'm done. Now, did you hear that weird, scary sound there? <laughs> Why did that happen? Well, think about it. Now I'm into the mod control page. So what I did right now is I assigned the aftertouch to control the level of all my operators. I don't want this, I just want number one so I can get this kind of modulation effect. So all I need to do is just remove this modulation parameter from the other operators. So let's try this now. Now, if it's too much, I can just turn it down a little bit with a ratio.
that's nice. 26 is fine for me. See, I'm going by ear, but I kind of expect what's going to happen. But to set the right number, I just need to listen. Okay, so now we have this. This is really good. Now, what I can do is I can go back and activate all my carriers. Okay, let's go for eight. Five. And two. Now, let's add some modulation to this. I think the sound is pretty much there. Now we need to add the sparkle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to common and go to my second LFO. And now let's add some pitch modulation uh, with, I'm going to go for a sine wave, okay? Sine wave. And uh, let's go and add a little bit of depth. And you know what? I don't want this to happen all the time. Maybe I can go for a very little bit. Just delay it. Okay. And now for the depth, I'm going to click on it, control assign, and maybe I can assign it to the mode wheel. Let's try this. If I don't want it to go that far, I can just pull down the ratio. Okay, so as you can tell, the hardest bit is done. Now let's add the furry dust. Now what I want to do is I want to make this sound super wide. That's one of the things that you couldn't do with the DX7, for example, but it's super easy to do on the montage. And there are so many ways that you can make a sound wide with the montage. I've already shown you some of the tricks on previous videos that I've done about it, but this time I'm going to use one trick that is so simple it's gonna blow your mind so let's go to general and here you can change one single parameter that will make your sound react like a polysynth of the 80s okay let's go to alternate pan and let's turn this up to let's say right 45 to the right and now check what happens So see what happens, every voice goes left and right in the stereo field. So I can go, maybe let's not go too far, let's go like this. So see the difference, zero, everything is in the center, and then let's go like this. Now, I like this sound a lot, but there's another thing that we can do to give us even more versatility when we perform with this sound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my filter because even with the FMX engine, we have a very nice filter right there. So I can go to my filter type and I'm going to go to low pass filter 24 dB digital, and that's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the cutoff to velocity. Let's try a few parameters maybe. Nice, let's go for 46. And now let's play it. Now, reverb, we need some nice reverb and I'm going to turn up my reverb scent to, let's say, 50. And maybe I want to add a little bit of delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to common, okay? Because this is, these are the send effects of our performance. And I'm going to go to effects. 
And here's where you can change the reverb send and the variation send. That many people wonder when these things are. They're right here. So let's go to reverb. I'm going to turn the time up, make the size a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to variation and add a cross delay. This is going to be fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to send that variation set, that delay, to my reverb. And let's see how it sounds now. dynamic it's this is the beauty of FM synthesis it can be very very expressive now let's make this maybe even wider okay I'm gonna show you another trick you don't have to use both tricks actually but I'm going to show you just so you know uh, what I like to do many times is I like to finish the sound Okay, and then what I like to do is copy it to another part, so part two. And now what I like to do is I like to go back to my parts and pan one of them to the left, the second one to the right, and then I like to delay one of the two parts. So maybe two is gonna be fine, delay length. And maybe in this case, you don't need the alternate pan because it might sound a little bit confusing. So I'm going to turn it down, down on both sounds. So now let's play the sound. And remember, all these controls, if you click on the performance name, now just initial normal, but all these controls, the cutoff, the resonance, attack, decay, sustain, release, the EQs are available to you and they're at your disposal. So for example, let me show you if I want to control the filter. or I can change the attack. Let's make it a very long pad, right? And let's play it. Don't you just love creating sounds on the montage? Let me know in the comments down below. And then, of course, if you try and change the attack, the sustain and the release, check what happens. All of a sudden, you just created a plug sound or a polysynth sound. So there you go, guys. That's how you can create beautiful FM pads on the Yamaha Montage and the Modi X. Of course, all the techniques that I showed you today, you can apply to other sims as well, but some specific features are available on these sims. So was this hard? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you find it super hard? Did you find it easy? Did it clear things up for you? I'm pretty sure that some of you already know how to create FM sounds. And don't forget, now we have the Smart Morph. So if you create a bunch of those, you can morph them and then modify them and create some really new sounds. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. Until next time, have loads of fun creating FMX sounds, sound designing, and I'll see you in the next one.